Hi parents and students. Um, this week we're going to be working on getting our writer's workshop launched digitally and you're basically going to need two websites for that. The first of which is Epic. So I'm going to show you how to get onto Epic and how to access the poetry books that have been assigned. Open your device and then click on your favorite web browser. Go to our trusty dailytech.weebly.com webpage. Once you get there, go to second grade. And right next to where we got onto Padlet, now we can click on the tab for Epic. It should bring you to a screen that looks like this. Um, if you notice, we are on students, and it should take you to the student tab. If it doesn't, and you're on a screen that looks like this one, for instance, just find students and click on it there. Then enter your class code. And as you can see, after you've been on the device a few times using your class code, it'll remember you, so I could just click on that. Um, but just make sure you enter the class code for your class. Click go. And then you're going to find your name. In this instance, I'll use guest student. From here, you can see all kinds of different things. So these are the um, books of the week or the books that they're recommending. Down here, we have new releases. They have continue reading, kind of picking up where you left off. Excuse me. And these books are recommendations based on pre previous things that have been read. But what we need students to go to this week for Writer's Workshop is the mailbox. If you click that, you'll see a few different poetry collections. So they can just pick one of the many poetry collections. Um, and then we're going to need you to read a few different poems. So this week we really want you to get to um, inquire into poems and explore them. What are your noticings? What are you finding? So just like in class where we've done uh, noticings and there were reading different poems on at different groups, we're going to do that digitally using Epic this week. So find one that sounds fun, maybe Ode to a Commode. These are all different examples of concrete poems. So if you look here, I have a table of contents. It's going to tell me what a concrete poem is. And then it's going to um, give me different poems I can read. Like, flush goes the sound of the toilet, the water with everything in it, vanishes in a swirl and whooshes, and the bowl fills back up in a minute. Or now I can see every leaf on the tree, each blade of grass, blue jay, or, and you get the idea. So I can go through, maybe I don't want to read this book, so I'll close that and find another one. Um, but just making sure we know how to access the different poetry books that have been assigned. As always, if you have any questions, please email your child's teacher. Thank you.